that you're doing well you may be listening to this in the morning afternoon the evening but this is let's talk truth a podcast by focus young adult ministry here at the upper room church of god in christ i'm here with my lovely co-host uh tish scarborough hi y'all <laughs> hello hello and uh and we are here um first and foremost to talk about some good stuff good issues good issues but before we get into all that um i'm gonna let my co-host introduce herself and then we're gonna move forward with the program so tish i know i already said your name but maybe tell the people um an interesting fact about yourself where you're from um and, and tell them why we're here today yeah absolutely so tish scarborough i'm from raleigh north carolina representing the 919 and an interesting fact about me is that i just flew in from brooklyn new york and i'm heading back out there on monday to god be the glory so safe travels there but we're here because this podcast is needed for such a time as this with youth and young adult we need a podcast that tells biblical truth and gives it to you straight real and raw and we have amazing panelists and we'll continue to have amazing panelists to help us spread the truth and the gospel about jesus christ so we want to talk to you all about relevant topics that are for millennials and for all age groups, right? But specifically for millennials. And we want to be able to share the message of how to live a practical Christian life on par with the Bible. So stay tuned. Amen. Amen. And so there you have it, folks. Uh, we got a lot of content already planned, already in the works. So please, this is the first episode. There's going to be many more to come. So tune in, tune in. Uh, right now, we're going to let our panelists introduce themselves. We have two uh, guest speakers here that are going to help us delve into this introductory podcast. We're excited to have them. Uh, Elder Damien Little, go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Hi, my name is Elder Damien Little. I am a member of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Uh, I give honor to my bishop, Bishop Patrick Wooden. And I'm looking forward to tonight. Um, married, have three kids. Uh, my wife is Jasmine. And hello out there if you ever watch this. And I am a business owner, Temperature Pros. Hot or cold, called Temperature Pros. So, but I'm looking forward to tonight for us, the youth and focus ministry. Uh, I'm excited about this. So I look forward to what's to come. Amen. And and our second guest, I'll let her introduce herself, Jasmine Rayford. Go ahead and tell the people about yourself. Hello, everyone. My name is Jasmine Rayford. I am an educator. I've been an educator for this is my seventh year. So um, I think it is my last year for this for a while. I'm going to a new season in my life. I'm excited about it. I have been at Upper Room since I was four. So I have been here for a long time, and it is my home. I love it, and every opportunity I get to to do something that is for us, I, I jump at it. Absolutely. So I'm excited. Amen, amen. And we're excited, too, to have you guys. Um, so let's get started with the discussion. Um, so first things first, guys, uh, we are a Bible-believing church, all right? If you know anything about our bishop, you know that he preaches the scriptures, the unadulterated truth of the word of God, and that's what we love here at our ministry. And so in our young adult ministry, we're going to be carrying through the same spirit of our leader. We're going to be sticking to the scriptures, sticking to what the Bible says, and so I hope that you're enriched by this. Uh, Tish, why don't you introduce the first question to the panelists? Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, panelists, Damien and Jasmine, why do you think young adult ministry is important in this day and age? Um, first and foremost, I want to say Ecclesiastes chapter 12 tells us to remember now thou creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come. Um, I believe that this young generation needs to know God our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at an early age to preserve you when you get older. I agree 100%. It says in 1 Peter 3 and 8, Finally, be ye all of one mind, have a compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. We are to be fisher of men. We are to give opportunity to people to come to God, and we want to be relevant while not being irreverent. We want to give opportunity as young adults to, to, to speak to us specifically. We know the word transcends generation, but we want to give opportunities that really appeal to our, our audience to really hear the truth of God's word. 
Amen. Amen. I love those two. two. Look at it. Already coming from the Bible. Ain't that good? Ain't that something? All right. So um, another thing. So I know that we're all young, right? Um, but as you mentioned, you grew up in the church. I grew up in the church. Um, most of us have actually been here for a very long time. So tell the people about what you do in the ministry. What, what are some of the roles that you have? Um, I am an elder here up under the leadership of Bishop Wooden. And also I serve in the youth department up under the Youth Pastor John Amatruku. I serve in Children's Church, um, Focus. Wherever they need me, I put my shoulder to the plow. I am busy and I love it. Uh, actually, God is intentionally ma- busy, making me busy myself in the word and in the church. I, um, besides focus, I'm a part of the young adult choir when we have one. Um, I do local and jurisdictional hospitality, which I love. I'm a part of the committee for the LKC, which is our young, young group of girls. They have my heart. I'm starting, going to begin volunteering for Children's Church soon. And literally awesome. wherever else I can help out, I am there to lend a hand. And I love every minute of it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is great. This is great stuff. Tish, why don't you uh, ask the second question? Yeah, so you all have something in common. We all have something in common is that we participate in Focus. So, you know, we've had a couple of events. We're coming actually up on a year of uh, being in existence. So what has y'all's been, experience been with Focus? Yes. Um, first of all, it's always an honor in any way capacity to serve in the church. Um, we are a younger ministry. We're in an infant stage, if you will. So we're ha- we have our growing situations and it's, it can be challenging because you have so many excited young adults with so many opinions and up and ideas. But at the end of the day, we all humble ourselves for the, for the, for the purpose of this, which is to reach out to our generation and our events have been powerful and, and very meaningful to me. So I will say that way. I agree. Um, it's been powerful. We um, just got out of a shut-in. Um, one of the uh, trips that I can remember, we, we went to Carowinds. We went to Carowinds, and we had a ball. I loved it, and I'm looking forward to what's coming next. Amen, amen. And so um, a follow-up question to that, um, how did you come to get involved with the Adult Ministry? How did you come to get involved with Focus? Once again, we'll, we'll start with Jasmine for this one. So... Um Interestingly enough, First Lady called us as a group of young adults to a meeting, um, and that's where the name actually started because it was a focused group of young adults kind of have a conversation, an open forum about the issues and the um, the things we deal with as young adults in the church. And she actually said that me and Tish were part of the inspiration for the young adults pulled together because some ideas we had that may appeal to the young adults. Mm -hmm. So I am a part of this because I believe that there are things that are specific to us um, and that there are opportunity to to win souls and to get people to come to us by having something that's specifically for our age range. Absolutely. I echo her words, First Lady called us out and we put our shoulder to the plow and we are here as of right now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tish, why don't you introduce the next one? Yeah, so of course. So we uh, we talked a little bit about focus, and I would love to know, one, what makes you all so excited about focus, and then also why do you think it's important for everyone else to get involved with focus or a youth, a young adult um, ministry, even if it's not ours, although we hope it is ours. Um, well, I think that, like I said, it is, opportunity and when you have such an opportunity when you have such a door when you have a ministry that's such as ours where our leadership has a heart for us we want to come out and support so if you find an event that's maybe not that's your favorite join the committee we're looking for ideas we're looking for opportunities but otherwise come and support come to the come to the events your life can be changed you'll be touched you'll meet people you'll be able to fellowship it is powerful to be with like-minded adults in your age range that is powerful it makes you feel like you are not out here by yourself because in our daily work and our in our home and other arenas we may be but we're here together and that's and that's awesome yes i agree with that um sometimes we say that churches don't have nothing going on for the youth um but that's not true um we have the youth ministry the food pantry so much you can do in ministry and you actually will find that hey there are people that think like me and want to serve the lord and be filled 
with his Holy Spirit and work in the church. So come on, come join us, come join Focus, come join the youth ministry, get apart, put your shoulder to the plow, and you actually, you'll see yourself growing in God, and it's, you start growing in prayer and, and reading your word. You're, you'll see a growth by putting your shoulder to the plow. Amen. And to piggyback off of that, um, so the mission statement for Focus, right, is to is to reach, engage, and cultivate a generation, all right, a generation of Bible-believing, gospel-preaching, praise the Lord, uh, young adults, all right, who stand apart, who live a separated life, and who are involved in the untoward generation. Our theme scripture is uh, Acts 2 and 40, where Peter is preaching to the crowd on the day of Pentecost. And he tells them very plainly, he says, and with many other words that he testify and exhort, saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Our youth pastor, Elder John Amachuku, preached a message from this uh, very subject uh, one time, and it stuck with me ever since. Um, and so incorporated into the mission statement, and I think that it's something that is so poignant for our generation because we're living in that sort of untoward generation, a generation that is hostile towards the truth, hostile towards Christianity, hostile towards the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so more than ever, uh, the purpose of focus, the purpose of this podcast is to combat what we're seeing in our generation. Many people are walking away from the church. Uh, many people are, 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 are confessing uh, black he Hebrew Israelites or no faith at all, spirituality as they're calling it, new ageism. All these things are plaguing our generation. And so we need a voice. And we're here to let those who are listening to us, those who are watching us, who feel the way we do, you're not alone. All right. There are other like minded people your age that believe the Bible and know that the gospel is still right. Amen. And so um, short episode today, uh, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we're, we're going to definitely have some longer episodes where we dig deep into some of the meteor matters of the word. Uh, but we just wanted this to be an introduction to who we are, um, introduce some of the, the faces that, that, that help us out with our committee, uh, help us out with our events. Um, and we wanted to just make sure that you all knew uh, who we were and what we were about. Tish, why don't you tell them a little bit of how they can follow us um, on social? Yeah, so you can follow us on a lot of social media platforms, which we'll post below here. Uh, but you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Facebook. And um, we might be having a website coming up soon. Who knows? Maybe stay, stay tuned. I know. I'm speaking into existence. Speak those things as if they were. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you follow us uh, and all that good stuff. Amen. Amen. And the last thing I'll say is, you know, um, our church is a busy church. All right. So we have plenty of things coming up in the interim. Um, most importantly, we have our, our, our um, evangelism weekend, which Focus is putting on coming up later this month. Three day weekend of evangelism. We're going to hit the campuses. We're going to spread the gospel there. We're going to hit the abortion clinic and then we're going to fellowship on Sunday afternoon. So please, please mark your calendars. Look at our social media accounts for further information. Uh, we'll also have some events coming up. Uh, with our AIM convention. So our jurisdiction, our, our, our pastor is a bishop, so he oversees the NC Third jurisdiction. Um, and so our jurisdictional AIM convention is coming up in June. Definitely encourage you, if you're in the area, it's going to be in Asheville. Uh, make plans to be there, right? My wife and I, we're already taking off work. We're going to be out there in the mountains, all right? Come and join us and have some fun with people who are like-minded and who are around your age, all right? So with that being said, um, as we say at Upper Room, God <laughs> first.